Hello Sunshine and Rainbow class, uh, story time again. So I'm going to read you a story today about snail and worm. So two of the mini beasts that we have been talking about so far this week. A snail and a worm. Let's see what happens in this story. Snails add adventure. Wow, look at that tall flower. Oh, that is a tall flower, said Worm. I want to be tall too. I wish I could climb to the top of that flower. Do you think I can, said Snail. Oh, I'm so small and the flower is very, very tall. Oh, you can do it, said Worm. OK then. I will try. Will you watch me? Yes, I will watch you, said the worm. OK then, here I go, said Snail. You can do it. You can climb. You can climb to the top of that tall flower. I'm climbing. Go, go, go. I'm almost at the top. You are almost there, said Worm. I did it. You did it, said Worm. Wow, I can see so much from up here, said Snail. Wow, they look like little ants down there. Wow, I can see my house. Where's the snail's house? There it is, it's on his back isn't it? Because when snails get frightened or when they go to sleep they curl back inside their shell. I did it. Are you proud of me? I am very, very proud of you. Now, how do I get down? Oh dear, now the snail is stuck. He's got to work out how he can get down from the top of the flower, that tall, tall flower. And Worm says, I'm very, very proud of you. Just like Mrs Lee and the teachers are all really, really proud of you because you are all working so hard at home and you are sending me such lovely work. So we are really, really proud of all of you. I think in this book there may be another story about worm and snail. Let's see if there's another story we can read today. Yes, it is. It says, meet my pet. My pet is lost. Will you help me find my pet? Oh yes, I'll help you, said Snail. What does your pet look like? Well, he has legs. Okay, said Snail. Is he a spider? Spiders have legs. He is big and furry. Spiders are big and furry, said Snail. Well, he is brown. Well, I bet it's a spider. He has sharp teeth. Oh my, it must be a spider. Oh, here he comes. Spider? Is that a spider? I don't think so, is it? This is Sam and he is mine. Oh, that's a big spider. I'm glad he's nice. Is it really a spider? No, it's not, is it? What is it? It's a dog, just like Hallie, my dog. Thank 
thank you for helping me find him. Hey, here comes my pet. His name is Rex. Rex is a good dog. Oh, hello Rex. That's not a dog, is it? What was that? We learnt about those the other week, didn't we? It's a spider, isn't it? How many legs did the spider have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs on the spider. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. He's very good. I have to take Rex for a walk now. Follow me. Still thinks he's a dog, doesn't he? You don't take spiders for a walk, do you? I do take my Hallie for a walk, but I wouldn't take a spider for a walk. That would be very, very strange, wouldn't it? Well, that's the end of story time today. Two short stories about worm and snail. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the rest of our snail activities and our worm activities that you have been busy working on for the last two weeks. Take care and I will speak to you soon. Bye bye. Bye.